Good morning, it's day three. And today for breakfast I have raspberry blueberries and I have a banana. So that is my breakfast this morning. I wanna start off this vlog by saying thank you to everyone who watched. I am kind of stunned by the like response I've gotten from this. I've had people reach out to me that I haven't talked to in years and um, tell me that they're excited about like me doing this and it makes them want to work hard and I'm almost like speechless. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. I didn't expect going into this to be like a viral video, which I'm not. Um, I expected like maybe my mom and dad to watch it, my sisters and my boyfriend. But I got 108 views yesterday, which I get doesn't sound like a lot, but I'd rather get 108 views and then like those views mean something and those views coming from people who like want to watch me grow and not just like random people so I'm okay with that I have 15 subscribers on YouTube right now that's really exciting I definitely didn't do this to become like a YouTube star as I said um, but it is exciting to know that other people are going through what I'm going through and um, they appreciate that I'm being very honest about it and I am trying my best. That's all I can do. Today it snowed here, which is definitely one of my weaknesses because when it snows, I just want to watch movies and sit around in sweatpants and some fuzzy socks. But I'm gonna force myself to go to Pilates tonight um, if it's still happening and if it got, gets canceled, I'm gonna work out. So I will check back in with you guys later yet again. Thank you so much for watching my first one and thank you for all the positive and uplifting words that you have um, said to me. It means more than I think you guys will ever understand. So yeah, I guess I will talk to you before Pilates. I'm heading to Pilates right now. I'm going to go pick up a friend because I learned yesterday that I work out much better when I have something there to motivate me and I'm really excited about this Pilates class because it's the same instructor as my Zumba um, so I think it's gonna be great I will check in after with you guys I followed my diet pretty good today but I didn't do my steps as much as usual just because I was really busy and not in the sense of like I was moving around not being really busy I was really busy in the sense of like working with my niece on letters and going to lunch and um, being in the car to pick up people and so um, I didn't really get a step around that much so I'm hoping Pilates kind of uh, kicks it in gear so day three here we go for the workout I will let you know how I do after um, okay bye. okay <laughs> I just got home from Pilates and my body feels like jello <laughs> like my face is so red still and I got home like I mean probably 15 minutes ago. I'm having a little snack but don't worry it's cherry tomatoes no salt on them or anything so it's my snack and my reward. Um, I just always want something salty after I work out. Both Pilates was a butt kicker but it was awesome. It's one of those workouts that I during it I'm like I hate this I hate this I hate this and then after I have so much energy and so full of life I'm just ready to take on the world. I think the way that I'm going to do my diet is that I'm not allowing myself a cheat day. I'm having a cheat meal because <laughs> I think I will explode if I don't at least get one of those things. <laughs> and so I'm going to go Saturday um, with a friend to get some sushi because that's definitely my cheat. Just over these last three days, I have already felt a change in myself. One of my resolutions, and this is going to sound silly, sorry, my hand. My arm shaking from this Pilates. Um, one of the things that I, my resolution has been has been to wake up every day and make my bed before I go to work. And I know that sounds silly, but I was the kind of person who like I would sleep in legitimately until like I knew I had to leave. I'm the kind of person who I need more time to wake up in the morning. So since Monday, I've been waking up, making my bed doing a full face wash routine and it's made me more alert in the morning and I feel like I'm giving my best now at work um, which I never 
didn't, but like I feel more energized and I don't lose my patience as often. And um, that's another one is I really am working on my patience with everything. My patience definitely with God's plan in my life because um, I don't always agree with where I am right now. And I'm learning that that's okay. I'm not where I thought I would be. I'm not where I want to be, but that's okay. And there's a reason. <sighs> I hope. Um, so yeah, so day three, I'm done. I'm ready to wake up and conquer day four, which is a Friday. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. Good morning vlogs. It's Friday. It is the fourth day of this adventure and the last day for the week that I'm going to film until Monday. Oh, so I weigh myself every morning and I write it down in my planner. Um, it was a temp my dad gave me. I lost three pounds. I really did. I was at 144.3 and now I'm at 141.6 pretty excited about that um, I'm gonna do some errands and then I'm gonna come home and even though my body hurts so bad I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna work out so that's what my day looks like I will probably film some of the workout just like I did in the last one and I will show you that. so I'll see you later okay so I just got back from running errands and I'm about to go work out and can I just tell you guys it's taking every bone in my body to do this I want to just lay down and watch daytime television because daytime television is like my biggest weakness. I could watch Dr. Phil probably all day long. So are you ready for this? We're, you're going to follow me along. Today I'm going to try to do a bunch of arms plus um, some time on the elliptical. So <sighs> this is starting to get a little bit harder than I thought. Day four is basically done. I'm gonna go eat my skinless chicken breast, broccoli, and cherry tomatoes. Someone mentioned ramen noodles today, and I was like, oh, that sounds really good. And it's not that I'm like not eating. I just, I don't think I realized how bad I was eating until I started this. And it is nuts, the amount of food that I was eating that wasn't healthy. And I think that's why I feel so hungry because I'm eating really good. Like I'm eating full size meals and stuff, but it definitely is different than drinking six pops a day and having chips with everything and uh, having a snack at like eight o'clock. So, yep, it's definitely, it's definitely dif different. Um, I'm gonna keep myself busy this weekend, but I am gonna work out Saturday. Tonight I have my nephew's basketball game and I'm going to go hang out with a friend for a little bit and then after that um, Saturday, I'm really excited, I'm going to go have my cheat meal um, and go have sushi with some friends and then Saturday night I'm having a game night with my sisters and my mom and then Sunday I'm going to go to church and feed the soul a little bit and then I'll get back to it on Monday. Thank you guys so much for all the positivity you've been sending me and all the kind words and just everything. like know that I'm seeing all of those and I am taking in all of your messages and it just makes me feel so happy. It actually makes it easier and you guys actually kind of are motivating me because today with not working and it being so cold outside, I was like, oh, I think I'm just going to lay in bed and then I was like, no, I need to get up. I need to film um, my workout. I need to do my steps. Um, so in a weird way, you're keeping me reliable. So thank you so much for that. If you know a friend who's um, struggling on their journey, feel free to share this. Um, I'm going to be very raw and open, and I'm going to tell you that this isn't easy. Um, I'm excited about the three pounds that I've lost. Um, if you have a friend who needs 
to watch someone who's going through something similar, be, um, feel free to share this. And thanks for watching my journey. And if you're on a journey of your own, you're not alone.